Hi Taurus, here is a general look at your solar chart for December 2012. Uh, but before I speak about what might be happening over uh, December for you Taurians, you children of the bull, uh, I'm just going to uh, say a few words about the winter solstice because this is no ordinary December. This is the famous one. You may have heard about it. Um, and it is quite special. Um, on the winter solstice, on the 21st of December, we're going to be lining up with the Galactic Center. Of course, we are already lining up with it and have been for a very long time, but this is going to be sort of uh, like pretty much right on. And uh, at on that day, the moon is going to be in Aries. And Aries is the initiator, uh, rules the head, uh, the pioneer of uh, in the zodiac and that's significant uh, the sun as well is going to be conjunct Ju Juno which is an asteroid and then also the sun is going to be in a wide conjunction with Pluto and that's going to be tightening up over uh, the rest of the month and, and, and be very very um, pretty much spot on towards right at the very, very end in the last two three days of the month um, Juno represents a kind of collective uh, remembering uh, about why we as spirits came down into these realms, into these dominions in the first place, but also why we uh, who are here came into these dimensions of limitation uh, at this pivotal moment in Earth's long history. And from December the 21st, 2012, the remembering uh, will increase from there on, we will be re increasingly reminded uh, through events and conditions around us of the contracts linked to the past, our deep past, and to our soul family, and our, of our spiritual path. And many, many of us will have these spontaneous awakenings going on. December the 21st, 2012, is the turning point moment when the Sun, Juno and Pluto will help us emerge from the long galactic winter, which has been going on now for about 25,626 years. Uh, and we will be emerging into the first rays of the galactic spring. And we will begin to awaken from the long sleep of forgetfulness as at last our solar system begins orbiting back towards the galactic center from which we come and we will be coming home. And the increasing warmth of that light, um, even just that little smidge will be felt more and more, especially over the years to come and we will be coming home to the truth of ourselves as spiritual beings increasingly increasingly as beings of light which is what we always were and we kind of misplaced that knowledge over these thousands of years of sleep and as we begin the age of aquarius the long remembering really begins in earnest we begin to remember not only our origins at the beating heart of the universe, at the heart of love and unity, but we come back into right relationship with the mothership, Mother Earth herself. And that's very much your territory, Taurus, you children of the bull. So we'll be, be saying a little bit more on that, uh, all, all of that, what I think about that. Um, in another video. But now for the months ahead, for you Taurians, this is an important gear shifting uh, period. You'll probably feel a little tentative, a little bit raw, maybe some of you, as you sense and feel your way forwards, you're weighing your priority, you, you're keeping like a, a deep inner awareness of weighing things up. You could also be more conscious of the material financial angle of things just now, possessions, anything jointly held, shared with another and more than a little aware of the, the emotional uh, side of things. But as I said, you know, keeping your cars maybe close to your chest and it's also likely you have to tread carefully with certain people 
um, you know, you've got to sort of, as I say, feel your way ahead uh, and uh, you, you know that you've got to rely on somebody else for something, uh, whether you like it or not. Um, and you, um, you, 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 in a way, sort of have to dance to their tune, but not completely. In other words, you don't feel as though you've got the overall control that you'd like. Um, from the 21st, a partnership or another relationship uh, could demand a more sensitive approach from you. Um, but you yourself will be feeling a bit sensitive as well, probably. And uh, when the Sun makes a perfect conjunction with Pluto on the uh, 29th and 30th, there may be some inner turmoil for you, uh, but you should follow your deeper drives and just trust those instincts. There's going to be a new moon on the 13th and that will usher in new beginnings for you into those areas, through those areas, and, and in fact trigger um, a gear change, trigger a transformation so that you will be leaving one stretch of road or one chapter in your life and going in to another, whether that's in a very, very minor way or whether it's actually got more riding on it than that. Um, and in the process, there will be a letting go necessary, maybe going down to the dump for some of you, you know, clearing the decks, but also maybe an inner letting go so as to clear the ground for a new birth. Now, until the 11th, uh, communications, personal, professional, in close interactions are highlighted. You'll probably be bouncing ideas or pinging ideas back and forth or correspondence back and forth. Um, maybe being a little bit intrigued by somebody, maybe being less than impressed by what somebody's got to say, but at least it'll help you to sort of clarify your own thinking. Maybe you're being the go-between, the agent here. Uh, maybe you are being the guide for somebody, giving the information to somebody else, or maybe uh, somebody else is being the guide for you. There could be more paperwork at this time and correspondence, um, though. And then from the 11th, um, discussions and ideas may become just that little bit more involved. Uh, you're feeling a little bit more emotional there. That's when Mercury comes to join the position of the sun that I was speaking about just a couple of minutes ago. And you have to weigh up the financial angle on things or anything centered around property, possessions, belonging to, shared with another some of you taking confidential advice at this time, maybe giving it as well. As I say, keeping your cards close to your chest, maybe keeping a lot in, but feeling quite passionate about something too. Something might touch you deeply or on the flip side, somebody can push your buttons. Um, now, Venus, your ruling planet, is in her favourite place until the 16th. So this is a huge uh, bonus for you because it means that this is going to very much help relationships and you and someone could be very much bonding or, or just, you know, really glad to be in each other's company uh, or finding that you can really do business together with someone. So whatever kind of relationship it is, personal or professional, you should benefit from their presence, their ideas, their practical co contribution or their loving attention. Um, and then from the um, 16th, uh, if you're lucky, uh, Venus could manifest as an influence which helps you out materially in major or minor kind of a way. Um, but uh, even if it's not that, it, it means that perhaps uh, deeper connections could go well um, and in whatever kind of a way um, it's about for you at the moment. Uh, also, negotiations could go well. You get yourself a bargain. Nice things could be coming in your direction. Treats could be in the pipeline, which isn't a surprise given the festive season, but um, this is how the astrology reads for you at the moment. Um, and on another level, Venus here means that your deeper feelings would be are going to be touched um, and uh, things could become um, more intimate, uh, even more passionate, even more sizzly for some of you. Uh, and it's definitely a good time to put your cards on the table or have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with the right person and also to take confidential advice or, in fact, you, you're the one, you know, that somebody is consulting and you're giving that confidential, those words of wisdom that you have and it's also a good time to collaborate with somebody else. 
Now until the 26th, Mars is in an area where you'll be gathering information or um, perhaps grasping things you didn't have a clue about before. Uh, some of you may be getting out and about more. This would be a good idea with Mars here. Uh, you know, shake off the cobwebs, uh, get some fresh air. And um, some of you could be connecting with foreign lands, those at a distance or um, those in a foreign culture. Uh, it's, um, it's a great time for travel uh, or for making travel plans. Uh, it's a great time for um, signing up for something, launching into something, maybe some kind of training for some of you. Or maybe it's like a learning through doing thing. You know, you are out and about and you're just learning as you're going along. Um, some of your physical energy may be needed as you really sort of push the boundaries, push the envelope of daily life and just get right outside of the routine box. It's time for you to reach out into new areas, new territories, and also a teacher could be coming for you at this time, a guide um, uh, or some kind of an in interpreter as well, or indeed you could be seen as the teacher, guide or interpreter. And then from the 26th is a period when you may be putting physical effort into achieving certain goals and ambitions. They may be career orientated or not. They may be via points on the way to where you hope to end up. Um, overall, though, this transit of Mars could inspire you to improve, you know, to up your game, to improve your image, um, uh, reputation, uh, just you're aware, you're more aware of, of coming up to some kind of mark and, and how others see you and you will need to be decisive and energetic to get the best out of this transit here. And um, Mars tends to be controversial so y you could get hot under the collar with certain people with the powers that be um, and uh, you could see them as being you know uncooperative, dragging their feet, whatever it is. Um, you know, just obstructive uh, and just keep your cool. If you do manage to keep your cool and not be too hasty, you will make good progress with the master plan and also with lesser goals and ambitions as well. And uh, you just need to look out a little bit on the 11th uh, when we get um, an aspect from Neptune onto Mercury that you don't overlook something or uh, you don't just kind of, um, you might be feeling a, a, a little bit confused in your mind. There's a lack of clarity there, perhaps, uh, but it, it's very brief. And then again, on the 16th, there could be some sort of lack of clarity or you feel as though certain things are unsaid or you want to leave certain things unsaid. Um, that's on the 16th. But otherwise, um, that's it for December. If you're not on my website already, you can find the, um, the uh, what's written up there of, about the slower moving planets and um, also find the forecast for your rising sign or your moon sign if you know it. And may I wish you a very happy time during the festive season and I will see you the next time.